Belgian designer Olivier Taiskens became a fashion star overnight when Madonna wore one of his romantic gothic gowns to the Oscars. Known for his sharp, imaginative tailoring, the former creative director of Rocha and Nina Ricci is once again pleasing his adoring fans with a new urban cool line called Taiskens Theory. I have been always connected with clothes because I always liked dressing up when I was a kid. And uh, I would spend hours and hours and all my time with that and I would draw all the time. And all my drawing would always have like dresses, uh, situations with, you know, like very dressed people. And I remember pe people explaining me that I could do a designer, a créateur, a couturier or something like that. With, what, with my skills, actually. So uh, I start like a little parrot, like saying instantly, like, I'm gonna be a couturier. And I would, draw, I would write this. The first days at school, when we start the year, I remember uh, meeting a new professor. You have to write your name, what you wanna do later. And I would say like, okay, Olivier, Tescans, I wanna become a couturier. <laughs> and this is very, very far. It's like, I must be like, seven years old, I must be right. It's really, really, it's the time where kids say astronaut or uh, fireman or couturier. In my life, I have like sudden, uh, I, I choose to do something, like I choose to take a path. And when I was at school, after two years, I decided to quit. I decided like, I don't know what happened. I was, re I was very young and I was very, I was very sure about that, that I should leave. And I end up like, I remember my adrenaline was very high. I said like, hey, bonsoir, I go. <laughs> and uh, I end up in the street and I, I just like, in, in a minute I had, I think, all my blood in my feet and I had to lie down on the street. It's the only time where I really think, I mean, it was a very strong decision, but it was guided by, I don't know, some very impulsive instinct. And I mean, the day after I was working at my, at my house, I was working making clothes. And I never really, I never regret that decision. For me, as a designer, what's fascinating about my work is that I have a chance to go through so many processes. And I don't like my daily life to be similar every day. I always have to be stimulated. And with fashion, I go from moments where I have time to think or when I have time to meet a lot of people to talk about my work. And I have also a time where I can be more on my own and I can be more thinking, what am I going to do? I can be very anxious at these times. And then I can also start sharing with people and start making it, drawing or doing toile. And all this together makes that my work is so diverse. My mind is always in motion, in thinking. Uh, it's very like, it's, you are always awake. When I was like thinking now, what I want to do is put all my designer experience into clothes that I feel are more democratic, and that have an easier access, people can have an easier access to, or could, that are more maybe useful for our life and all that. I start like being interested by, let's say, what we call the mid-market place. And I speak about that with people around me and, and some of them would say like, you should look at theory what they're able to do. And I would go to the stores and discover the product and think like, mamma mia, this is exactly the level of the suitings I was doing all these years. This is exactly the level of the shirting quality I've been doing all the time. How, how come? And I mean, I don't know how to call it, but the fact is that at a certain time, as I met Andrew Rosen, Fury's co-founder, by chance. And I could tell him what I had in mind, and we just had like a, a snap, like thinking, why not do it together? This can still really look, it's cool clothes for the coolest girl. It's clothes I would wear if I was a cool girl, actually. It's, I think, all, all the collections I think like that. And uh, it generates this sort of multiple 
wardrobe where simplicity coexists with more sharp cut elements or ultra basic that are not that easy to find in many stores, I think. I, every time I generate a cloth, I think like, this is really useful to have. And that's how the collection also grow. And actually the collection grow big. The jacket I'm fitting now is like, it's one of the, it's like a key jacket for me, it's like the, the leather jacket of the collection. I'm, I'm actually trying to make that, but it looks more like, like this drawing. Like, I want to find this shoulder, the way it falls. I think that like here, we are not far. Um, and also with the white here, which is this color. I really see this for very dynamic living. And in the same time, it's cloth. I also want people not to care too much about it. They can like put them, wrap them in a little suitcase or let them fall. Like most of the jackets are cut in the middle, back in the neck, so that they fall in a, in a more easygoing way. And there is a sort of nonchalance. And in the same time, the way they're done is very precise and it's very sharp. I like when you can work with so thin yarns for little knits. They have like cashmere and silk and it's so soft. You can create intricate details in the way it's the fashioning of the knit. You know, like the seams are here, it's so, so discreet. This season, uh, I felt like much about drawing. Actually, it was painting because this is paint. Sometimes it's good also to, to get rid of the drawing and see the thing fresh when you see it in real and consider like, okay, I forgot the drawing. What do I really like now? Do I want to keep this proportion or do I, do I want to change them? Uh, will it look better? Something can look nice on paper and not nice in real. Or the contrary, it, like, it can really be an ugly drawing and actually it's one of the best clothes of the collection. When I made this first collection with Tescan Surya, instead of telling like a story, I start thinking like, this is a puzzle collection. And this is the way I consider a cool wardrobe, is when you compile a lot of different styles together and you can mix them from day one to day two, you have different looks with it. I think this is the new energy. And this is an energy I find also, maybe I feel this in generations of new girls, the way they, they're not too conventional, they're not like, they want to be more free-minded in the way they dress. If I was not a fashion designer, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it's like, I, I, I have like the idea I can be many different things, but actually in the end I'm always a fashion designer. 